Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki. If you are new here, I'm a Latina beauty creator. And today I am bringing to you guys pretty much an entire full face of LA Girl Cosmetics. The few products that I don't have are either drugstore or super, super, super affordable. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys stick around for this video. I created this really beautiful look, honestly giving summer bride vibes. Let's get into it. Okay guys, I've got a full bag of LA Girl Cosmetics because I want a giveaway, which is like super amazing and super cool. So thank you, LA Girl. Um, I've been meaning to do this video for a while because I haven't actually looked through everything in that bag because I'm just like overwhelmed by it. And I'm like, I don't want to do it without just like straight up filming a video. Everything in this video will be drugstore um, because I do have other products I'm going to try out. But it's all drugstore and most of it's LA Girl. Um, this is the uh, Hard Candy Girl Scouts collab lip oil. I love their lip oils. I They're so great. Um, I literally put them on like almost every night. So let's see what's in here because there's a lot, okay? Um, and I just, one thing I did already take out is their lash curler, which by the way is like the best lash curler I think I've ever used. Look, you guys, look at all this. Like it's a big bag. So I'm just going to start pulling stuff out. We've got their oil control multitasking setting spray. This is a matte finish. I've got their bronzing drops. Um, I have a ton of their powders, which I'm super excited about because they are one of the few brands that actually comes out with a bunch of different shades for their powders. So this is their Pro Setting Brightening Loose Setting Powder. And I love, sorry, that's so loud. I love the pink powder from Huda Beauty. And they have a pink powder. They have a brightening blue powder. They have an orange color correcting powder. They have a purple like lavender powder for brightness. And they sent me all of them. These are their sheer tint lip balms. Okay, look at all of these. We've got their blush sticks. These are like these guys. Oh, they also sent me their dewy. Oh, so this is their shimmer spray, shimmering finishing spray for body and face. Okay, cool, cool. I already tried out one of their other eyeshadow palettes. They sent me two of their little eyeshadow palettes. I'm so excited for these. I thought I grabbed the neutral one when I was like super excited to dig in to this this morning and apparently I grabbed the colorful one but they're both kind of neutral so this one just has some pops of green in it but like look how cute and honestly I was really impressed with the formula but this is the more neutral one so very exciting. I would probably use shades from both of this. These This one's in the color Summer Nights and this one is Under the Sun. Really excited. I love little palettes like this size because they're perfect to stick in your like travel makeup bag. Oh, I'm so excited for this. So this is their Let's Chill Hydrating Primer um, stick, which honestly reminds me a lot of the Tula skincare stick. Um, I've got another shimmer spray. This is a finishing spray. I don't see the shimmer in this one. Oh, it's like really clumped up right here, but this one's more of a gold finish and this one's got like a more, you see the difference in color? one of their eyeliners so they have like a precision tip and then a harder like larger tip I've got one of their beauty sponges and it's so cute because I actually love their beauty sponges I've used them in the past I'm not going to open this one because I already have a wet beauty sponge right here but it comes with even like a little stand which is so freaking cute oh they sent me mascara it's I literally just bought mascara um, jet ultra black and black brown in their mascara this is their volumatic mascara so it's not a full face but it's a lot of a full face and then i've got their illuminating primer and their perfect brow styling gel so oh and i also have like i said i have their lash curler that they sent and then i also have this bronzer which it's so crazy that i got a bronzer from them because i needed a new bronzer and this is like i've already used this two days now and i love the formula it's very, very buttery. So I'm gonna start out with, I have nothing on my skin by the way, which it actually, it's not great. I'm gonna start with this Bubble um, Slam Dunk Moisturizer. And a lot of this, like they sent me this from a giveaway, right? And the giveaway was like a summer nights, like end of summer giveaway. I'm interested to see what these bronzing drops are like, honestly. But I don't know if there's anything I have that I can mix them with. I like their packaging for this, by the way. I have the shade Sunbathe. You know what this reminds me of? Just in... It has like... 
this consistency and this shimmer, the MAC Strobe Cream. This is like very much exactly a dupe for the MAC Strobe Cream. If you guys ever tried that and liked it, this is exactly that. You can see the glow immediately it gave. Look at my forehead, it's all shiny now. Uh, I really like this. I would honestly use this on its own on those like no makeup makeup days. I think it's perfect for that. It just gives a little something. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this, but this is actually really nice. So this is their LA Girl Prismatic Light Reflecting Primer. Because I don't have an entirely full face, I'm gonna substitute some of the other products with e.l.f., which is my favorite drugstore brand, because I love e.l.f. For those of you who didn't obnoxiously know that about me, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream. If you guys haven't tried this, it's great. It's a really nice CC cream. This is the shade Light 240W. Okay, you guys, so... I have two new products on my face that are not from LA Girl because I got them in the mail today and I couldn't help it. Um, I have the new e.l.f. Bronzer and Contour Camo Liquid Bronzer Contour and then I also have, they released new shades of their um, Camo Liquid Blushes and I got the shade Copper Etiquette. So I have those two on the cheeks and on the face right now. There is a whole separate review video on this. I will link it for you guys in the description down below. I also posted it before this one, so it's like the last posted video. But let's get into it. I do also have these cream blush sticks from them. So I have the shade Hot Nights and Fake Vacay Flush and the shade Summer Crush. Summer Crush is honestly so light that I do not think this is the shade for me. It's not meant for me, and that's okay. I opened it first because I was just curious. So I will be passing that along to somebody else because it's just not my shade. really like this berry shade. I think that'd be really pretty for fall. This is the shade Hot Nights. And then I'm going to open the shade Vacay Flush. Ooh, Vacay Flush is really pretty and it reminds me of like... These also do not have a scent. Okay, so here are the three colors. This is Summer Crush, Hot Nights, and Vacay Flush. Hot Nights because I feel like... It's very berry. I'm gonna try applying it just to the face and see what happens and see if it like picks up other product. I think I would honestly just like it more applying it straight here, so I'm gonna do that. Whoa. I know you all thought that. That was a lot of pigment. I didn't really know what to expect. Okay, I like those a lot. Those are very pretty. They did not send me a concealer or anything, so I'm gonna go in with my current favorite concealer. That is from the drugstore. Literally, this is new from Ulta Beauty, and I really liked it. I didn't know what to expect. I don't really buy a lot of Ulta Beauty products. This is a new concealer from them. It is their Complexion Crush Full Coverage Concealer. This is a waterproof concealer formula. It is... She's a thick curl, okay? I kind of want to go back and get other shades of this, because I think this one's a little too... Like, I don't think it's light enough for my current skin tone. But what I will say about this product, I really, really like it. And I'm going to go in with the um, LA Girl Brightening Loose Setting Powder in the pink shade. Um, I really like the packaging of this, by the way. Very luxe. Also comes with a little puff. And the puff is actually very soft. Sometimes you get puffs in packagings like this, and it's just kind of ass. I'm going to apply it with their powder puff. This is actually such a good powder puff. I'm going to use it with just straight with theirs. LA Girl, you popped the frig off. Wow, okay. I'm gonna blend this because it does dry kind of fast. This is very finely milled. I like that it's not scented because if you like the scent of something, amazing, great. But if you don't like the scent, then it becomes a new sense. You guys, I just noticed this is like a very similar packaging to their powders and I didn't realize it. They sent me their LA Girl Blurring Putty Primer. This is their Poreless Primer, Creamy Texture, Blurs, and Smooth Pores. This is essentially the same thing as... Ooh, I like this packaging more. I can't even lie, Elf. I'm so sorry. I love Elf. I'm like a ride or die for Elf. Which is kind of awesome because I was running kind of low on this product from Elf. This is their Poreless Putty Primer in Universal Sheer. And that is exactly what this is from LA Girl. I already know. I already know. Um... Their compact is really, really nice. I, it's the same thing, don't get me wrong. And this is very like signature elf packaging, but LA Girl, like I just like their packaging a little bit more. Okay, next up I'm gonna go in with their bronzer, their powder bronzer. This is their Sunset Days bronzer in this shade Sunset Days. That would have been, yeah. 
I'm gonna go with this lighter shade on top. It's very, very buttery. Like, there's no kickback on this when I swatch. Oh, also, I love the sheen that this has. I've been using this mostly on my eyes as eyeshadow, and I really like it. I think this might just have been my new favorite drugstore bronzer because it reminds me of the Juvia's Place one, but kind of. It, could, it, it competes, okay? It may not be better, but it definitely competes with the Juvia's Place one. I wonder if they have more shades of this in LA Girl, but like only because I like, you see how these two shades are kind of more my jam. This one, I can't really use this on my face. So I kind of, I want to know if they had to come up with other shades, but this shade and this shade are very similar. So it rivals it for me for sure. Very, very nice formula. Okay, they did not send me this lip liner, but it is quite literally one of my favorite lip liner formulas at the drugstore. So I, and it was my ride or die for years, so I cannot not mention it, even though they didn't send me to, it to me. Their LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner is amazing, you guys. It's so freaking good. It is the perfect brownie nude for me. This is the shade Cafe, okay? That's it right there. We love her. It's buttery. It lasts a long time. I love the shade. They make other great shades. I feel like I see a lot of people sleeping on their lip liners and I don't know why. In my professional opinion, I personally believe that they're better than the NYX lip liners and I know that's a heavy claim, okay? Well, now I will definitely be going in with some kind of lip gloss um, or something, but this, I'm really curious to try this. So these are their sheer tint lip balms and I'm grabbing the brownie one. Okay, I've got the shade Sheer Nude. Wow, you guys, this is truly... It's a little glossy. It is sheer enough that I can still see my lip color through it. This I would wear alone. I would wear this on a no makeup makeup day. It smells incredible. It smells and feels very smoothing and actually very nourishing. You guys, this... This is a high-end formula. I am not even kidding when I tell you this could rival Mario, Charlotte Tilbury. This is really, really good. I am actually now so excited to see these other shades. There is a Sheer Black Cherry, which I actually think is a dupe for the Clinique. They all smell really good. Okay, I'm just gonna swatch this. Oh my God, yes, this is such a dupe for the Clinique Black Cherry. Why is no one talking? about these i let's see out of everything i have used from my collective knowledge on this the best things from this from la girl their lip liner 10 out of 10 these sheer tint lip balms run to go get these okay amazing these little eyeshadow palettes i really like them i really like them i haven't even used them yet um in today's video but i already know hello look at this look at this pigment oh that is butter Stop it right now. Those are gonna be a new favorite. Are you seeing? Look at that. This, you know what that shade is a dupe for? You know what that's a dupe for? That's a dupe for the Fenty Glow Diamond Bomb. Just that shade right there in the under the sun. This is shade four and I really like this bronzer formula. Okay, I'm done. I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself, but there is a lot to get ahead of myself about. I don't want to use their shimmering sprays and I don't want to use that matte spray because I just personally don't want a matte face. I think these might be good. Why does this have two lids? LA girl, por favor, me quieres explicar. One lid, two lid. I've never seen that on packaging. The, pa the plastic is killing me. This smells really good. Honestly, this is okay to put on the face. It definitely says finishing face and body spray. It feels nice. And I don't see a lot of shimmer. I just sprayed it on myself. I'm totally gonna spray this on my face and hope for the best. You know what these remind me of now that I'm actually spraying it? The MAC Fix Plus, the shimmer one. That's what, especially this one, this shade. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I did not think I was going to like this. This is beautiful. This is giving MAC. It's giving high end. Please look at my skin. It's not chunky glitter, okay? It is the finest, you can kind of see it there. It is the finest hint of, I, this I got a little bit more. You can kind of see it right here. The finest dusting of just, oh, you can kind of see it on my forehead. 
And I like it because it's not too dewy and it's not too matte. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows, I'll be right back. I am gonna try their brow product. This is the LA Girl Perfect Brow Extreme Hold Styling Gel. This is in the shade Clear which I think is safe since they didn't know anything about me when they sent all this to me. Okay, brows are done. I'm gonna put on some of this brow gel out of curiosity. I normally don't go for a clear brow gel, but you know, I like the little spoolie guy. I feel like it's like really grabbing every hair. I like it because it's perfect for the hairs on the end. I'm really excited for these freaking eyeshadows. I'm gonna use both in today's video because you know, why not? I also wanna show you guys the bronzer in the crease because I just think this is a really, really good bronzer. Like, look, that's the bronzer. That's the bronzer on my lids right now. I'm taking just a super large fluffy brush. I really like doing this because it connects, especially for the outer edge, it connects everything out here. And also it just, cut. I'm using this really large brush. I think it's meant for technically under the eyes, or at least that's maybe what I think he made it for. This is the Morphe X Aerial brush. Um, this is the, from the kit, it's the number A14. Next up, you guys, these palettes are beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna start, because I like the warmer shades in this, I'm gonna start with this shade right here. This is shade 12. These are really pigmented shadows. Like, I barely dipped my brush in that. And I got some really nice pigment, you guys see? I like this color a lot. I like the formula. This formula, I know I keep saying this, but it's true, you guys. These formulas feel so high-end, so expensive. And honestly, you know what I love about LA Girl? They have been inexpensive for a hot minute and they have not gotten like one of those brands. I'm not gonna name any names. I'm gonna take the same shade and put it underneath my eyes. Okay, I have a confession to make you guys. My favorite palette that I keep in my to-go makeup bag has been this Morphe X Jaclyn palette. This is the Divine Neutrals palette. I mean, I do like it. Obviously, I hit pan on two shades already. You can see the divots in them. I do like this palette. But these palettes have better formula and are very much, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some replacing happening here because these are both really good. I think, I wish that, to be completely honest, I wish that this shade just had a little bit more of darker and warm tones. But that's okay, I'll just carry both of them with me in my little travel bag because I like them so much, okay? I really like them. Okay, see like I'm using this palette more for like the darker shades. I'm gonna take this one right here. These are blending out. I'm barely doing anything, I feel like, and they're just blending out perfectly. Like I place, I do a couple swipes, blended. Okay, I really wanna swatch these blue shades. I normally don't do swatches on my channel, but we're getting swatches today. These are gorgeous. The duo chrome, this gold is crazy. I'm gonna take the brush that I did like prime my lids with with concealer and it whatever's left off on the brush I'm just gonna put on my lids. There's literally like nothing on that. <laughs> I'm gonna take this matte. No, sorry. I'm gonna take the matte and this sheer white creamy silver shade. This is the bridal palette. This, both of these, but this one, this is the bridal edit. This is the perfect drugstore bridal palette. I'm definitely thinking brides. I just went to my friend's wedding. She looked beautiful. It was stunning. It was amazing. They got married in New York. I also got to see New York for the first time and I totally fell in love. That is so beautiful. I also really love, like I said, this shade right here. This reminds me of the Fenty um, Diamond Balm. I'm just topping the shade with that. And also, you know what? I'm going to put that in the inner corner. This is the Chisel Tip Wing It Dual Ended eyeliner precision felt tip that's a mouthful i have never used anything like this i honestly haven't used an eyeliner with this formula that's like this hard marker style in a long time it's not my favorite just because i know what i like but i'm pleasantly surprised it's very pretty okay i'm actually going to take some of the black from the summer nights palette and i'm going to try to just Smudge. I like a smudgy little smoky little liner moment. That's a really nice black. I really like the formula of that. Even though if I'm not like crazy about the applicator, it was actually really easy to do. So I, I think it's very beginner friendly. I personally just like really like a brush tip applicator. But this is really good. Okay, it's mascara time. This is again the LA Girl Volumatic Full on Volumizing Lash Lifting Mascara. 
in the shade Ultra Black. This is smudge proof and water resistant. Really, actually, I like the formula a lot. I like how it is actually coating my lashes. I feel like a lot of the times I go and I get a mascara and I'm like, it's either too sloppy wet for the first application or it's super dry and I'm like, why did I just buy new mascara that's literally dried out? I'm really excited to use this eyeshadow right here as a... Are you, see, are you seeing? This is my new favorite highlighter topper. You know what I do have from LA Girl? And this is one of my favorite products. They didn't send this to me. I just already own this because I'm your LA Girl ride or die. This is the LA Girl Island Hottie Blush Palette. I take the middle shade right here and coat my cheeks in that gorgeous, gorgeous color. They also make a lighter version of this palette. This is just the shade that works for me. Look at how... The, the, these all have a bit of a sheen to them, except this last one. It's a little bit more matte, but it's very light. You guys, I might have unintentionally just created a beautiful bridal look. I know I'm not wearing anything white, but something about this palette just inspired me. And somehow we ended up with a look that I think is very, is very bridal. Very glowy, summer bride, first date glam. This is giving like Victoria's Secret bombshell I freaking, I'm obsessed with so many of these products. I didn't know how this video was gonna go. I didn't know how much of this stuff I was actually gonna like. I love these tinted lip balms because they're actually like a tinted lip balm. They're not too lipsticky. They have a little bit of shine. They don't feel minty or sticky. And I also, pretty much everything is a 10 out of 10. I think the thing that I least enjoyed maybe was the blushes just because I know what I like and I'm really into cream blushes or liquid blushes sorry um but those were still really good I mean obviously I used that as my blush um as like my more intense blush I want to say that I wasn't obsessed with these powders but the results don't freaking lie and my under eyes do look really good super finely milled powder I didn't get a chance to try the Sunday's bronzing drops, but honestly that's because I use bronzing drops mostly when I'm not doing a full glam look, but I am just gonna like put some of this on my hand and see how it looks. You know what, actually, let's just put some on my chest since it's exposed. Oh, this would be really nice all over the body. That's really pretty. I actually like it because, I don't know if you guys have tried the e.l.f. ones, but those are so intense that you cannot just apply them like this they have to be mixed with somewhat something these do not have to be mixed with anything and they give the body just like a really nice little tan glow but truly la girl thank you so much for sending me all of these products you guys have knocked it quite literally out of the park everything is amazing um keep oh keep up the freaking good work because y'all are y'all are the troops that are keeping us girls on a budget beautiful like i'm gonna try their pro perfect oil control multitasking setting spray which i didn't try before the end of this video and i see it sitting here and i don't want to not try it it's a nice mist very nice i hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you stick around for more videos on my channel bye guys